Hello everyone, Nadlabs here, and today we're going to be learning how to do signals in Godot 4. Um, uh, 4.1 actually, if you think about it, because there's a slight difference, but at the same time it doesn't really matter. But let's get straight into it. So I'm making the project, everything's right before your eyes, nothing's pre-scripted, because I want to actually make sure you understand how signals work to their core. I saw another YouTube video about it and I didn't really like it, so I'm going to make my own. Um, and that's enough rambling, let's get straight into it. So let's make a world scene. Uh, we're just going to be setting up a basic scene. Save it wherever the hell you want, it doesn't really matter. And we're basically going to be putting in an area 2D right now. Um, we're going to put an area 2D and we're going to put a collision shape 2D. Or we're going to put a little, I don't know, a capsule on it. Uh, it doesn't really matter what you put. I'm going to move the area, so I selected the area and I'm going to move it to the center. And I'm going to go to debug and I'm going to click view collision shapes and I'm going to click run uh, select current. I'm going to run the current scene and I can see I have my area 2D here. Now I want to be able to use air, um, I want to be able to use signals on my area 2D. So what we're going to do is we're going to attach a script to the area 2D and we're going to say on the ready function, we're going to say connect area entered. Now what are we going to end? We're going to do, we can look at all, these are all the signals. Um, we're going to do mouse entered. If you're wondering how I figured out what I want mouse entered or the reason I wanted mouse entered, I would literally just click area 2D, click this node tab and then click signals. Uh, after that, you can see all the signals and you can see over here that there's a mouse entered signal. And if you just hover over it, it tells you emitted when the mouse pointer enters any of the objects like sides. And then we're just going to uh, use a callable. What the hell is a callable? Oh, uh, well, we can just search up callable over here. But if you don't want to read this and you want me to explain it, it's basically a function name. That's the best way to explain it. And what we can do is we can say, what do we want to call? I want to call, I don't know, I want to call the Uga Booga function. Um, why did I give it such a weird name? It's because I want to show you that this is how you define uh, signals. I'm just going to zoom in a little bit and I'm going to say print, um, print. Oh, God damn it. I hate it when Godot 4 does that. It might just be my computer, but print. I don't know. Mouse enter. And we can even do get mouse global position. We run the scene and what do we get? We get boom. We get mouse entered at whatever that point is. And we can exit without anything happening and enter at a different point, enter at a different point. And yeah, that's basically it. That's signals um in like a few seconds if you want to make your own custom signals then you can do something else which is when uh let's say for some reason um uh let's do a little count like this is a count and we're going to call it zero and every time uh this uga booga function is called we're going to count equal one and if count is greater than three or three then we're going to emit signal we're going to emit signal we're going to call it our uh what do we call it we're going to call it i don't know destroy um, destroy the world signal. Okay, this is the signal we're going to call. And to make sure the signal works, we're going to make sure we call uh, define it up here. So signal, that's the keyword, and that destroy the world is the signal name. So if we click on this area 2D, we can see destroy the world signal is functional, like we can actually use it. How are we going to use the destroy world signal? Well, a signal goes to another node. Uh, generally, it's recommended to signal up a tree. So if you have like a bunch of uh, things in a tree, it's best to signal up because multiple things can get it. I'll probably put a diagram up if I remember. And we're basically going to be using that. So in our ready function, we're going to say in our ready function, we're going to say dollar sign, get the area 2D. We're going to say connect the area 2D signal, which is destroy the world. And we're going to call it onto uh, ASDF function, right? This is how start the function name is going to be. And on that function, we are basically going to do um, get tree dot uh, quit. Yeah, there we go. Quit. And basically when this, if you want to like pause and think about it, what happens is every like one, two, three, four, it should close the thing. Because if you think about what happened, um, we're like using logic and signals here. If you think about what happened, we asked the Uga, Uga function, which happens when our mouse is entered to increase a count. And when that count is like logically greater than three, emit a custom signal. This is our custom signal. I know custom signal sounds scary, but it's not custom signal means, oh, we just defined it ourselves and we want it to run when we want it to run. What does that mean? We want it to run on a specific instance, not all based on something like what Godot has defined for us already. And our world node or our world parent node has basically said, okay, at the ready scene or on the, sorry, on the ready function, which is the first frame of the game, I'm going to connect, I'm going to grab my area 2D and I'm going to say, I want to connect the area 2D signal. I want to take area 2D and I want to connect its signal onto myself and say, okay, um, I'm going to connect the signal and I'm going to make sure that when the signal is called, I'm going to call this function. And when this function is called, I'm going to make sure I run what's here. That's basically all there is to signals. And um, yeah, have an amazing day.